We're starting today off with an amazing clip from Damo. He's been progressing his hardcore super quickly, taking on Zolra, getting all of the items, but now he's rushing Slayer to try and get a brand new trident. But one of the amazing things he received from Zolra was the Tans Mutagen Hell, which he currently has in his invent while he makes his way to the Aberrant Spectres. But unfortunately for him, he equipped this helm, which took off his Slayer Helm, so these monsters started to drain all of of his stats and took him out the game in about two seconds. As soon as he realized, he quickly zoomed that mouse over there to get the teleport, but it was just a little too little too late. But he leaves our game at over 1800 total level and actually had two super high ranks with rank 5 and rank 12 for two of the wildy bosses. But most people are very afraid to go to those wildy bosses because they don't want to get PK'd or just die to the boss well, our next submitter has found a massive hack. And he said he'll only share the method if Jagex patches it because he wants to use it to get some massive KCs. But basically, I don't know what he's doing, but he cannot die no matter what the PKR or the boss does. His HP continually hits zero. But because of some Rendy R stuff, he just respawns that HP and can continue to fight the boss. And Jagex were under the impression that they had hotfixed the glitch, but this streamer since putting that segment together sent this in showing it's still working oh my god what the f <laughs> what the f man what the f Unfortunately, this PK can't take this guy out of the game and the boss can't kill him either, making it completely invincible to get Callisto KC. BTC's fighting around level 36 in the Rev Caves. He has full Ancestral, a whole bunch of gear, but the worst thing possible starts to occur. Oh, now I'm getting DDoSed. Have you seen this? No, it's DDoS. That had to be DDoS. Test, test, test. Am I lagging? Hello? What? Oh, I just DC'd. I just DC'd. Hello? I just DC'd. Did I just get DDoS, bro? What the f*** is that? I just lost my Inferno too. <laughs> Pulling the skill specs with the Inferno cape, he was fairly lucky to keep his plus one. It doesn't mean the person he was fighting necessarily DDoSed. He could have just been having some connection problems. And I just know some people think he had his big toe under his computer rattling that router cord to try and get that real world trade money. G'day legends, literally 13,000 subs away from the biggest goal of my life, 100,000. Please help us get there. Absolutely no one show this clip of Dino to only trails. Complete clues, you can complete clues. You f loser. Clues are hands down the worst part of this game. It's insane. And let's be fair, Dino is missing out. Clue scrolls are some of the best content our game has ever seen. Big props to Jagex. They've taken a lot of the dead man mode feedback and they've put it into place. They've updated the blog with a whole bunch of very positive changes. Many were unhappy that the last person standing was not going to be getting any prize money, but now there's going to be five separate worlds and the last player left on every single world will be receiving 1000 and then a lot of all the other prize money is just randomized amongst the other competitors. But one that I thought was a massive announcement is that they are officially allowing swapping. It doesn't matter if you swap from dead men to the real world so you can make some serious GP, but they've also said you do this at your own risk. So I'm not sure if they'll be enforcing bans for scamming on that or not, but basically there's going to be a lot of people swapping for some seriously OP gear or to make some seriously OP GP, and there'll be quite a few scammers out there as well, so be careful. But in much more breaking news than that, it appears Jessie, aka Bodhi's better half, has said that her and Bodhi have broken up. And underneath, she's completely exposed the ginger posting this picture of him and the male model from America, who currently looks like an egg enjoying a very nice and very passionate kiss. Braying Manus has done 54k, see at Chambers trying to get his first ever purple.
I don't think we've ever seen someone so excited for a Twisted Buckler. Perhaps the Twisted just got him all hot and excited. But it was a very nice day for his Iron Man because after that, he went on to pull the Fang from TOA. But while we are looking at things from TOA, that Fang has absolutely nothing on what shenanigans received. I got it. Oh my god, it's over. <sighs> And he had to grind hard for that one. That was actually his 66 purple in the game. Thurko was back recently and he was sending a stream. He's currently trying to achieve the most Herblor XP possible in one single week. This was the only clip that came from it, unfortunately. But you can see he's got a whole bunch of supplies to literally just make potions for an entire week. But that grind has absolutely nothing on Obby Cape, who we recently saw get 100,000 KC at Vorkath. But unfortunately, that was was not enough for this man because although it said 100,000 on his collection log it did not have the 100k on his loot tracker because he started tracking it a little bit late so he went on to grind out an extra 6,000 KC which for him probably only just took the weekend but finally we can see all of the items he received totaling up 11.2 billion GP 19 of the OG Vissi coming in with 16 of the new one. What a massive achievement to pull. EV Skate was having a great hot tub stream with Katarina and he decided to do this massive bomb in the pool. Now let's see the actual one. A very nice bomb, and I can't do the man dirty like that. He's actually been on an amazing weight loss journey, and he's getting very fit, and if I dare say so myself, starting to look very sexy. <laughs> Pumper has done 265k C at raids. He hasn't got too much to show for it yet. <laughs> no! No way! <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what his other items are. Probably just a couple of scrolls, but that makes up for everything. What a big upgrade for his Iron Man. And it turns out we don't have to speculate on it for long because here we have Luna's collection log at 260k. See, he has six scrolls, but now his third unique was that bow. But while we are speaking of big upgrades, we couldn't go past what Sido received. It's okay money. Serves okay money, especially when you... Oh my... God, dude, it's finally done! 2,395 green log with 2,318 Callisto. This boss bears. The man seems to be very over that boss. I guess you could say it was unbearable. But how good does that green log look after 4,700-ish KC? You may believe we're looking at an egg-wearing headphones, but this is actually the Olive livestream. We recently saw him pull the Shadow Star from raids number three, but now he's gone back to raids one to get something juicy. No way, it's in my name! Oh my god, this guy just died! Oh, I get a purple! No way! No way! No way! <laughs> I could complete raids! I could complete all the raids in the game! <gasps> oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, this is money though. Alright, this, this is money. This is. Unfortunately for him, you need 65 defense to wear that item, and his Iron Man is a one defense pure, so it's just GP for him, but at least it's a lot. Those clicks were crazy. You dodged those waves so good. Ignoble just couldn't believe what he was hearing. He lives his life waiting for any external validation from any female he finds. And I just know he's going to be saving that clip and playing it over and over on repeat while he rocks himself to sleep in his straitjacket. Okay, let's do more TOA. Oh my god, holy Turns out I'm a huge fan of TOA. I love TOA. But just when you think this man couldn't get rizzed up anymore, look what Marsa Bun said next. <laughs> Ignoble, Ignoble is so funny. He's, he is so funny. And I feel like, I feel like he doesn't get 
the recognition. That has absolutely made his year. I give it about four to six weeks until we see her applying for a restraining order on him as well. We upload every single day at the exact same time. Thank you so much for watching.